as a child, she was like, she wasn't different. She was just a normal child. She was a good girl. But I did notice that she got frustrated like really easily. But she really couldn't communicate to me how she felt as she entered her adult years, it seemed to be getting worse. The frustration then turned to like anger. I attributed it to postpartum depression. And it may have been, but it seemed to make what, make what she was going through worse. And when I look back on it now, I think it was just more of an embarrassment because nobody else around me is like that. And I looked up and I didn't know who she was. It, it was like she was trapped. Like when I looked in her eyes, like she was almost a prisoner and she wanted out, but she didn't know how to get out and I didn't know how to help her out. Needless to say, when she took the Percocets, she said to me, I'm balanced. Like, I guess this is what normal people feel like. She got some counseling, but she would always tell me that it wasn't enough because it wasn't getting to the root. It was almost like um, she felt warehoused, nothing personable, um, no real tools that she could take away with that would help her um, to process this stuff because she didn't want to be hooked on the medicine. That's so un unlike her, that's not who she is. And then she went to jail. Oh, gosh, and when I tell you this is, this is not her, um, but this is as a result of this stealing, but the stealing was to support the drug usage. And my mind can't conceive this, because I don't owe her you. I don't know you. She disappeared. How proud I was of this girl because she did it. She seemed to be at her strongest. She had been doing so well, well, I never thought to question her. Like, you know, like, you know, something going on you want to tell me about. And he said, and if she was high, I didn't know it. In my mind, I'm saying she has to be doing OK because she has to do this. I take her on South High Street. So if there was a problem, I was certain that would have come up. And on that Sunday morning, he called me. I'm sorry, he called me and said, Jasmine, they said Jasmine's gone. And I started laughing and said, so she finally got up and left y'all. So I'm joking. Um, and he's like, no, ma'am. And that, you know, you just, when somebody says something like that, you just, they don't know what they're talking about. This can't be happening. And we just rolled and we saw the coroners. Oh my God. And this is so bad because I kept praying to God, please don't let it be my child. But by the same token, I didn't want it to be anybody else's child because somebody was going to be hurt that day. And it was us. It just looked like she closed her eyes and went to sleep. <laughs> but they found like the, you know, the little bag and a little straw. So she said it looked like she had crushed, they crumbled it up or whatever but it was um, fentanyl. Unfortunately, I come from a family, my family have su suffered from alcohol and drug use for years. I'm just blessed, that never happened to me. Um, and it's probably because I grew up watching them suffer and I used to say that ain't, that's not gonna happen to me. I had fixed in my mind, these are just weak people. They have give, just given up and that is not the case. They are suffering, so I figure God brought it full circle for me. I can't, you can't run, this is me talking, like God talking to me. You can't run from this, Anita. You gotta help people. Am 
I want to be an advocate for mental and emotional health because these people don't want to take drugs. They're regular people just like everybody else. But they don't know how to always communicate what they're going through. And they really don't know how to fight for what they need. And a lot of them are just embarrassed and ashamed because society has made them feel like they're nothing. It's you. No, it's not you. It's, it's, it's the world. It's so many things going on in the world. And some of us are stronger than others. And I believe that those of us who are stronger are supposed to help. So I'm all in. I need for parents not to turn their back on their children. And don't just think that they're lazy or they don't want to work or I've done all that I can for you. You never stop being a parent.